Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Alien Isolation. Um, what I'm hoping for real this time will be the finale. Because um, as you know, I ran into some issues. The last one. Okay, grab me. Grab me. There we go. I expect I'm expecting him to grab- I want him to grab me, and I'm, I jump as well. I'm hoping- I don't know, last time he gave me flamethrower fuel, so I'm hoping he did not. Well, screw you. Guys. Ethanol will ever work for something. Still can't make any Molotovs, so I'll just say screw to that. Okay, uh. Ah, crouch. Ah. Okay, so as you guys will remember if you saw the last of the other episode. I came down here now. This is the first vent that an alien ever killed me in. In this game so far. So. Really not excited for that. Ow, ow. Stop it. Stop burning me. in one go last time, I guarantee you that's not gonna happen again. Yep, told ya. It's too late on the... There we go. Okay. What am I missing from all top? Okay, I can make more. Maybe now's a bad time. Oh good, it keeps the ones that I've already input. That's nice. Can't make any more, but I've got my flamethrower, so hopefully that's okay. Okay, I'm not sure what that did. Not exactly. Um, don't go under there. Hoping this is now activated. No oh, shit. Well, crap, crap, crap. Okay. Well, the map shows us being right, right there. Activate the hydraulic systems. It's right there. It's right there. But I gotta restore powers. I gotta restore the powers. Oh, I better have to do that down here. Is it down here? Did I just walk past my objective? Oh, I don't like this. Stop with that music. Okay. Stop with that. Okay, hopefully this is what I need to do. Good God. Now I'm just expecting an alien at every turn. This is not cool. No part of this is cool. I mean, it's cool. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. This is amazingly well done. But, um... I don't like it. I don't like being scared shitless. Constantly. And the music is so loud I can't hear anything. Oh god. Okay, good. I'm getting a little better at that now. At least sometimes I am getting it my first time. 
Is that everything I needed to do? Uh. Where is that? Down there. Where? 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 Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh dear. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm about to go. I got rid of you. Nothing there, but the music is it's telling me there's stuff that's gonna kill me from behind. Uh Okay. We're late. the docking clamps are engaging. Okay, they're flying up the control room. What? Where in the heckiness is that? Oh. Up there, of course it's up there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Many alarms. Many dislike. Oh. All of the dislike. All of those klaxons and musics and stumpy wumping. Don't tell you, you, you I can hear you stumpy wumping. Don't try and tell me you ain't stumpy wumping. You're a stumpy wumpy woo. I don't like it. I don't like it. I can hear you hissy whistling. Like a snack. Like a hissy little snack. Like a hissy little snacky poo, and I don't like it. Oh, oh, lots of fire. It's like they diverted all of the fire in the station to this one part of the station. It's like watching science fiction shows like Star Trek and it's like... Oh, we got hit in the in the butt end of the ship with the torpedo, but for some reason the bridge explodes. It's like... Me and my brother used to have a... Oh! No! No, no, no. Oh, shit balls. Uh, me and my brother used to have a running joke with Star Trek that it was like... In a battle, and you know, Kirk is just like, quickly, Scotty, redirect all damage to the bridge. That's what I want right there. That's what I want. Don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And don't trust you. Don't. Okay. I think I can use the maintenance rig instead. If I can what? find an EVA suit, I can still get to you. Oh, oh, damn it. Extend the maintenance rig. Uh. Okay. That's it. Get to the airlock downstairs, airlock. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, stop it. Stop being on fire. That was pointless. Okay. Okay. Don't like you. Don't like you. The alien was being a giant dickbag in the last episode. Where the hell is he? Right there. Please, please, 
How the hell did I survive that? <laughs> oh, but I also feel like I'm literally this close to the end of the game and this episode is going to be fucking... Never mind. What? 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 Am I dead? Did I get face hugged? Ripley, break free! Break free! Like the wings of an eagle! Or Fuck! Something, I don't know. Do I have my weapons at least? Or did the alien take those away? Oh, hi! Hi, dead guy. Oh, that's a. Uh, hi. Hello. Hello. Where the hell even am I? Station maintenance. Oh no, not all the way back here. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this here for no, no, no. stop this here for a second. Okay, uh where the hell am I? Why do I always end up in these situations? Freaking. No! No, no, no! Damn it! I was stuck on an egg, I couldn't back up! No! Crap balls. Crap balls on a stick. Well, I guess at least this episode won't be 15 minutes long. Oh shit! I didn't even. Well, that was stupid. <clears throat> that was just. That was just dumb. That was just a dumbness. That was me being a dumbass. Okay. 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 Where the hell am I? What is that? Um, sorry. One sec. Legend, what is that? Item to a weapon. For a fuel, good. Where are you? You have... Nothing. Well... Anything else around here? What else is... Oh, I guess I got it. it. Oh, it was the ID tag. That's what was showing up on my screens. But I guess at least I got some flamethrower fuel. I'm just... I don't want to stay crouched because I feel like the facehuggers can get you more easily if you're crouched. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. I certainly can't get away as fast. Um, and now I can't uncrouch. Oh, great. Oh, sweet lord, good. Well, I just wasted a bunch of that. Okay, map. What's this way? Nothing that way, okay. I don't remember this at all. Oh, sounds of electricity sound like face huggers. Oh, jeez. No, I. Oh God. I fucking shot you, bitch. Uncrouch- oh my god. Okay, well I guess I can't uncrouch. 
I'm stuck crawling here. Great. Just what I wanted. More face huggers come to get me. Okay. I smell like their nest? Or do they just not see me and that's just a gentle reminder that aliens are always watching. Like Big Brother. Where? Where? I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I'm going the only way right now. Okay. No. Thank you, face huggers. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. Christ. Balls. This is just oh, this episode is giving me nothing but heart attacks. God. I swear I'm gonna have a heart attack before this is over. You guys are gonna watch me die on camera because I'm going to leave it in my will for my family to posthumously post or upload this video. If I die, I'm good. See, where was all this earlier? When I was going through all these problems, all these trials and tribulations, and there was never any flamethrower fuel, where the hell was the flamethrower fuel then, huh? Where the hell was it? It was all here. I mean, come on! Look at this! This is more flamethrower fuel than I've had at one time since I first got the flamethrower and got 500. I haven't had this much flamethrower fuel in ages. <laughs> Whatever. At least I have it now. What the, what the hell? This is unheard of. I mean, it's an awesome and amazing and I love you game. Stay away from me with that acid tree. But it's like totally like WTF. Jesus. Just let me make it through here. Oh, sweet. Mother Mary. Where am I even going? Pardon me while I wipe my nose. That's the way I'm going. Oh, lordy Lou. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm guessing that's not the way I'm supposed to go. Well, ow, okay. I guess this wasn't the way to come either. Ow! Ow, I'm on fire now. Oh, okay. Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Too close. How the shit? Please get up in here. Too close. Yeah, no shit! Oh god, I'm weaving in and out, aren't I? Oh no. Oh no. Ah! 
Okay, where the shit? Okay, right there. Oh god. All oh, the jump scares. All the douchey jump scares. What is this? I'm guessing that's an ion torch if you didn't get the ion torch already. Uh, what's through there? What's up here? Oh, nothing's up here. That's just a locked door. And possibly a jump scare at any moment. The catwalk breaks out and I fall. Dear Lord. That was just uncalled for. Oh, God. Oh, God. Eggs in a tight space. That's just the douchiest. What direction? What direction? Doing here. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Freaking face huggers. Oh. You thought human babies were annoying. That is just the worst. I'm gonna guess that I can't, uh... Open, please. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. God damn. I wish I could look down. I don't even know what I'm descending into. There could. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, it took too long, didn't I? Oh, I got face hugged. Oh, come on. Come on. Just gonna go and hope that uh, death does not ensue. Oh, these douchey jump scares. <laughs> I don't remember the exact technical term, but I have uh, the phobia of... Um, I have the phobia of being buried alive. Uh, the thought of it terrifies me. It sets my skin crawling. Where am I? What do you need me to do? Of course. I'm hurrying. Won't let you down. Okay, let's do this one more time. Maybe I should have healed before doing this. Oh, that, oh, maybe I should have done. Oh, that was bad. That was a dumb idea. That was a bad idea. Damn it. But yeah, anyway, I have that phobia of being buried alive. And I think a lot of people are afraid of that. But like for me, it actually like... When I see it in a movie, or in a TV show, um, it instantly, like, I start feeling like I'm suffocating. It's, it's horrible for me. So, that whole being trapped under the elevator thing kinda, kinda sets that off a little bit. And I'm like, oh geez, I'm gonna die now. I'm feeling terrified. I can't heal. Oh no. I'm so, oh, I should've healed before I came in here. No. Gigantic rocket engines. I'm assuming that's the Torrens. Oh, there's gonna be aliens on the Torrens. I know it. Oh god. Oh god. Am I, can I leave this now? Thank you. Jeez. Where am I going? What am I doing? 
Oh, of course I have to go all the way down there. You can bet your ass there's gonna be aliens all the way and things breaking and I'm gonna have to find alternate routes and shit. Not having the best day. It's Monday. Um, you guys probably won't see this until after Monday, but for me, it's Monday. And, um, oh, it's one of the Mondayest Mondays I've ever had. <sighs> Of course I'd be getting, okay, there's a trail. Okay, so I don't have to walk all this distance. That's nice. But yeah, of course I'd be getting jump scared out the wazoo. But hey, at least the episode wasn't 15 minutes long. Like I was afraid it was gonna be. I was like, get to the airlock and done. And I thought that was it. And then I would be 15 minutes of this episode. And well, you know, that wouldn't have been cool. So it's, it's, I guess it's good that it went longer and it's provided me with some entertainment of jump scares. Hopefully it's provided you guys with entertainment too, but I feel like this is just too easy. Something's gonna happen. I don't trust this. I don't trust it at all. No. No, I don't. I don't like it. I don't trust it. I don't like it. Oh, this just feels like fantastic. Oh, I'm on an o I'm here this thing oh, overlooking a freaking... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Release the mechanisms. How? Please tell me. I would love to release the mechanisms. Oh, okay, there we go. Right, this button. Now use the key. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be just as complicated as it is in the movies. Isn't it? We're just setting this self destruct and it takes half an hour. Meow, meow, meow. Down. And opens that. Why can't my key card just work? Use key card. At least I don't have to find key cards on dead guys or androids or something. At least they're right here. Okay. Okay, now they're open. Um, is this rising? That's opening. Okay. Oh, this looks just like the self-destruct mechanism in the movie. It looks just like the self-destruct on the Nostromo. That's so awesome. Oh, this is so cool. This is just like the self-destruct on the Nostromo. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. I, mean, I don't lie, I feel like there's aliens sneaking up on me right now, but this is really cool. I love this. But again, I feel like this is a mechanism that takes way too long. In an emergency, the emergency would have already happened by now. I feel like... I feel like it's a little bit too involved. But, you know, at least it doesn't require, like, two senior officers, otherwise we'd be screwed. Because I'm just an engineer. Oh, they're even glowing. Ah! This is so cool. This is just like in the movie. Oh my god. I've said that so many times. If you guys couldn't tell, it's just like in the movie. This is really cool. What? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 That's good. just died oh jeez oh no
Well, I guess there was no way to evacuate them. At that point, Ripley's priority was getting herself off the station. With all those aliens and the rabid androids and the, the SWAT guys trying to kill everyone, I guess there really was no way to get anyone else onto the ship. But still, let me guess, at least one of them made it back to the Torrens. That's the way these movies always go. Every single time, they think they got them all, or they think they killed it, or whatever. And then there's one on the ship. And the first one, it's, you know, the only alien they meet. And the second one, it's the queen. And the third one, um, I honestly don't really remember. It's been so long since I've seen it. I don't think so, though. Well, sort of. They thought they killed it, but then it came out and it wasn't dead. But they did end up killing it, I think. And then Ripley jumps into the... Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. And then the fourth Berlin, one, yeah. I'm on my way up to the that bridge. stupid goddamn thing at the end of the fourth one. The freaking newborn. Like, I am, like, I'm, I'm sorry for anybody who loves the fourth Alien movie. I am kind of, I'm kind of disappointed that it was Joss Whedon who wrote the script for that. Because, you know, seeing shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and uh, Firefly, and he directed, like, the Avengers movies, and it's, they're, he's freaking awesome. And then... Why am I still in a spacesuit? But anyway, and then, um, but that's not bode well. But then, yeah, then, then he's wrote the, that movie, and it's like, really? But I mean, I guess, oh, I can't take off my spacesuit. This does not bode well. I guess, to be fair, he wasn't the only one really? writing it, so. But still, that, oh, oh! What do I do? 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 I'm just holding down S. I'm just moving backwards. Uh, left, left, left. Did I won? Ripley? What? what? Tell me she was found. That had to have been searchlights. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Because obviously she doesn't die because, you know, she lives to be like, I don't remember how old. Old. She dies of old age, right? Like back on Earth. And she gets married. Oh, wow. Oh, that was so awesome. I mean, aside from all the douchey jump scares there at the end, I guess <laughs> it's hilarious that all of the worst of the jump scares. Is this like a remix with Ripley saying that over and over? Anyway, of course it worked out that all three, all of the um, horrible jump scares, douchey jump scares, would be at the end of the game, at the very last episode. So there you guys go. There's an entertaining jump scare filled episode. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll, I'll let this run because I don't know if there's anything at the end of the credits, but. Um, Overall, I think it was a fantastic game. I think it stayed very true to the spirit of the Alien Isolation, um, or not Alien Isolation, of the Alien series. This is Alien Isolation. Um, I think it, it held, it st stayed very true to the the, uh, the story of the movies, and it fit really well in with the timeline of everything. I think, I think again, I don't know a lot about the ex expanded universe, so I could be wrong, but um, from what I know, it, it fit really well. Um, it, it was a little annoying to me. There's a few features of it. First of all, that you didn't regain control immediately after you do something. And I think that maybe that's just left over from Soma, where you, you pull a lever and it's, it's instant. You, you never lose control. Whereas like this, like you start like pulling on a lever and, and like the game programming takes over. You're not controlling that movement with the mouse like you are in other games. Um, and then it, so it pulls the lever, but then you've, you've got that couple of seconds of her beginning control and 
I guess most times it's okay. It works out to be okay. I don't think it actually ever screwed me up, but it's just when I was feeling really, really stressed in those high tension areas where there's obviously aliens nearby, it kind of got annoying because I couldn't get recover and hide as fast as I wanted to. And I think that's more of what it is. It was just a preference. I couldn't get away as fast as I wanted. So obviously that's just kind of my own thing. So that's kind of whatever. And maybe they programmed it to be that way to build suspense and make it worse, in which case you guys are bastards, but I love you. Um, I guess the only other thing that I really was kind of mm, about, which I, I mean, it makes sense. I understand why it was the things like the shotgun and the bolt gun and stuff don't hurt the alien. There was that one time that I somehow escaped with and the skin of my teeth by shooting the alien with a shotgun twice and then beating it with my maintenance jack. Maybe that was a glitch. I don't know, but somehow I survived. Um, but I, I understand why they they didn't do that obviously um it kind of takes away some of the suspense of the alien if any weapon you have can send it away but um just like w with what i was saying before was like in the first movie obviously the alien was pretty much indestructible the, the, the only way to kill it was to blow it up the airlock because they didn't have weapons it was just a mining vessel or a, car a cargo vessel um whereas in the second movie when they bring in the marines and they have all their guns the guns hurt them and, and, and kill them the guns blow their heads off so they're not indestructible so it kind of would have been nice if even like it takes I don't know all four shots of um, of a shotgun maybe even two clips of a shotgun something just some at least is kind of scared off at least so it does that it charges and hits you hurts you thing but doesn't kill you um, like it did with me that one time I don't know or maybe it does work that way and I just completely couldn't get it to work right I don't know um, again anyone who knows the game or knows the series better than me will uh, will know that um, oh, excuse me but overall I quite enjoyed this game I thought it was awesome the atmosphere oh sorry excuse me jeez um, the atmosphere was fantastic and like really kept it really held true it was awesome um i've heard a lot of people talk about like how the the animation was kind of stiff and everything but honestly i don't know i don't particularly notice those things i mean this this game is 2014 graphically that was one of the better games i've ever seen um i guess maybe some of the motions were a little stiffer than some other games i've played but still i mean come on <laughs> it was fantastic overall like the graphics are, are amazing um and really beautiful scenery. I think they did a really good job um, really developing Sevastopol as a, the place you go. And every time you go somewhere, it's a little bit different. And I thought that was really neat because there's a lot of games where you backtrack and you've already cleared out the area and then there's there's nothing. And it's kind of like, really? But this game did a good job of making it a little different every time. So um, every time you backtrack, it makes you want to explore because there could be something you need. And that's an excellent feature in a game. Um, you should never have a game where you just you're going through and you feel like all you want to do is barrel through the game and you don't want to stop and explore and find out what's going on because i mean then it kind of it just becomes a speed thing and then you, you can beat the game in, in like a, a day or two and then i mean what have you really done so it, it kind of i like how they introduce new elements every time you backtrack into a, the same area you've been before to make it so that you want to explore that area that was really cool i liked that um I think the next time I play this game, which I probably will, I'm not going to lie, I think I'm going to take a little bit more time and ex further explore some of those areas that I missed and see if I can find any more Easter eggs, there, see if there were any more Nostromo lo logs, because those are really cool, and um, just see if there's anything else I missed to further the backstory, because I, I really want to find out more about what happened, because I thought that backstory was awesome. Um, I thought it was really cool. I quite liked it. But um, yeah, I've also heard that this game has... Uh, some sort of survival mode, or, or I'm not sure exactly what survival mode is, but I, I've heard there's a version of this game. Maybe it's DLC, maybe it's survival mode. I'm not sure. You guys will probably know if you've seen this before, um, where you actually play on the Nostromo and you play as as Ripley. I think is that's was my understanding of it, but maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. But that would be cool. I think it'd be cool to play, you know, the events of the original movie um, with no damn androids. Um, and like the god damn, you're running away from the alien and they got these androids that can't be killed with the stupid like freaking like disco suits on and they're coming at you and it's like don't run and it's like super freaking okay anyway i hate the androids androids are assholes if you're an android out there if you're like that guy you're a dick i'm not even sorry for that i'm not even sorry i'm not even apologizing you're a dick straight up dick i mean if you're a cool android that's cool but if you're like those guys you buddy just F you 
in the butt as hard as you can. Anyway, um, no, I quite liked it. I think this was a great game. Um, I'm definitely going to play it again. I might play it again on a lower difficulty, just because I prefer games that have less stress. So if I play it again, I'll probably play it through on a lower difficulty just so I can be able to find all the Easter eggs and find all this backstory and have fun. And then I don't know. Somebody told me they, they want to see me do a nightmare run. And I don't know if I want to do that. If I ever did do that, if I want to stress the if, if I ever did do that, it would be like probably a one-off episode thing. I would not drag that out for a whole series. I would not finish the game on nightmare. I would just play like one episode. And I would probably have to do it as a drunk let's play. Like I said before, I'd probably have to be drinking <laughs> to do that. Because, god damn, to face that, ugh. Yeah, no. And, and, oh, actually, yeah, I've had, actually had a couple of requests for someone. To, I guess they want me to, to see me do that. Uh, also for a, a drunk let's play of Soma. Because apparently watching me get scared playing Soma once wasn't enough. So they want me to... Do it again and they were like you should do it drinking and i'm like i don't even like i'm i would consider it but i first would want to make sure that i i um made sure i knew all the rules youtube rules about alcohol in videos um i don't know if there are any but i would have to look it up so who knows maybe those might be coming to you guys at some point in the future but that's not anything on my horizon right now that's not in my not in my uh, plan my agenda these are a lot of people jeez that's this is a lot of stuff wow yeah yeah so I, I guess I've kind of said all I had to say I, I maybe I'll fade myself out here um, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed the game. I, I definitely recommend it. And, um, yeah, definitely um, get this and play it for yourself. I think it was fantastic. And, uh, and I'm probably going to play it again. And, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> sorry. Need the production babies. Little babbies. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So, um, assuming there's nothing at the end of this yes thank you guys thank you guys so much for creating the alien universe it's one of my favorite fandoms i absolutely love alien and i'm so happy that uh that that exists that this is a thing is this the end or is there something else i don't think there's anything else ribbit 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 so that is the end of alien isolation so Wow, what a ride. <laughs> so apparently I'm entertaining to watch playing scary games. So I will probably look up some more similar games and play those. And if there's anything you guys would particularly want me to see play, um, leave a comment below and I will see what I can do. I will be continuing with my Bioshock 2 Let's Play and uh, I will probably be kind of sneaking in some more Undertale here and there and Tormentum uh, if I get around to it. Um, those two are kind of just kind of my filler things but Bioshock is my next big game that I want to get into. And after that I'm not really sure. There's a couple more games I found on Steam that I thought are really cool so I think I might do at least one off uh, episodes of those if not a full series um, and then I'll see what you guys think. So anyway that's the end of Alien Isolation. Thank you guys for watching and thank you if you stuck it out and watched it all with me. Um, your support is incredible and uh, and honestly it's, it's why I do this because I like to have fun and do this and uh I like to entertain you guys and I like to hear I like to hear that I'm I'm uh, entertaining so even if it is by being scared whatever anyway uh, so that's the end of Alien Isolation um, I'll have more videos up of other games coming soon uh, thank you all so much for watching I love you all and I will see you all in the next game bye everybody